Um, Dr. Meng is assistant professor in residence at University of Connecticut. She serves as a core faculty member in both the Chinese program and the program of applied linguistics and discourse analysis. Her research interests include second language socialization, multimodal discourse analysis, teacher education, and computer assisted language learning. Thank you very much, Dr. Yi. Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for coming to our workshop. Today, I will introduce features of beginning level PCA pedagogical materials and online resources for teachers. As Dr. Walker and Dr. Noda mentioned, in PCA programs, language learners are trained to function successfully in the target culture. This happens from the very first day of class. So at the beginning level, there are these two major learning objectives. Uh, first one is socializing learners into the target culture with the aid of pedagogical materials outside of the class. And the second goal is um, to adapt learners to the instructional cycle. We want to motivate them to continue their language learning uh, and keep it up to the higher levels. We identify three major steps in PCA instructional cycle, um, presentation, rehearsal, and the performance. The first two steps happen before students come to the class, mainly rely on the interactions with pedagogical materials. And the third step, um, performance, happens during instructional time. I will focus on the first two steps, and Dr. Chai will um, talk about performance in her presentation. So in the following slides, I will be using these three um, sets of materials as examples to illustrate the features of PCA materials at the beginning level, how learners um, are socialized in their target culture through them. First one is Nihongo now. Dr. Noda has introduced that. Second one is Chinese communicating the culture. Um, and the third one is basic Mandarin Chinese. Okay. So the first feature lies in the way how cultural performance is delivered. The cultural performance are the ones learners need to model. So it is very important to present them through multimedia that provides rich contextual information. I'm showing the three um, screenshots of um, the culture, how the culture performance is presented in videos. The context, as you can see, are vividly presented. You know, without a look at the scripts, you can guess on what and where this happens. The first one here is from Chinese communicating the culture. It's a trend conversation, right? And second one bit from basic Mandarin Chinese, it's a banquet scenario. And the third one, obviously the setting is in the city of Tokyo from Nihongo now. Um, so this top-down approach helps learners to develop an accurate sense of what and where a particular performance is taking place. The lifelike presentation, for example, the background noise in Beijing train station, the night marketing heavy, all of this allows learners to feel uh, like as if they are part of the culture, communicating with native speakers. More importantly, behavior culture is demonstrated in the video. For example, in Nihongo Now, the exchange in name card in Japanese culture was shown as a sequence of actions, taking out the name card, rotating it to the receiver's um, reading direction, and handing it over with two hands. I took a screenshot again to show you here. So next feature is to use case in the saga to organize learners' uh, lessons or um, instructional units. Case refers to specific things you can do in the culture. You can tell from most of the titles, for example, confirming an itinerary and trying out something new, inquiring about age, buying a train ticket. Those are the specific things you can do. Meanwhile, PCA um, also emphasize on specific location or a set of people, which is the concept of saga. Saga represent uh, what a learner knows about behaving around particular people or at particular places in the target culture. For example, in Chinese communicating um, 
the culture, they are a Sino-American trading company, Beijing office, and Washington office, and textile fac uh, factories, those are the, uh, different places. And in, in Hong Kong now, there are Ogaki Sokai office, Ali and Sasha's room, all indicates where the conversation happens and who are the interlocutors. And because sagas reflect many aspects of features of a person, a group, or a certain place, like what Noda Sensei used as an example. Um, so it's the similar with uh, Chinese material that we list um, the person's personal information, such as their name, title, especially the occupational titles, which position they, they held, in age or gender, and also their personalities. All these affects how, the way how they use language. Uh, no doesn't give the example in Japanese. So I'm going to use the example of Wang Liyu. Um, she is uh, the office secretary, and in the conversation in CCC, she talks to an intern, and she used a final sentence uh, uh, particle. Hey, uh, she said, um, that's just send, send it as facts. Um, so that, that sentence, uh, final sentence particle indicates that she is very bossy. She's saying this as self evidence back to an intern who has a lower position in the office. So next, I would like to talk about rehearsal, which is the second step in the instructional cycle. PCA materials include the learner-centered build-up and the rehearsal functions. And as Noda Sensa has shown in Hong Kong now, the learners has to go through these steps in order to build up and um, to practice, to rehearse. Similarly, all these steps are included in Chinese communicating in the culture. Um, now let's take a look at what the students can actually do with these materials. So this happens after the, the students use reverse build up to practice, then she selects the role to rehearse with the computer and then record herself. Later, after this happened, she can listen to her recording, which allows self-monitor and self-correction in the learning. So that's a brief reintroduction of some PCA pedagogical materials at the beginning level. In order to provide professional development support and the build up virtual learning community for teachers, uh, Dr. Yi set up an online reference guide that we have already shared this URL uh, in the chat room. Uh, included in this guide, you will find teacher training um, videos, some are from Dr. Walker's lecture explaining PCA concepts, and then some are teaching uh, video clips, which are selected, um, edited, and annotated by PCA master teachers. It is our hope to use these videos to introduce PCA to new teachers and also provide a refresher for experienced teachers. Each clip is uh, very short, very brief, and but uh, has a very specific focus on certain teaching technique. For example, here's one from Dr. Yu's teaching. <laughs> Okay, so from this 10 seconds tape, I can demonstrate it to you um, my new TA who does not have any SLA background. What is chorus? What is individual call? Chorus is have group of students repeat after you. 
individual colleagues to call um, um, individual student, but course has to be followed by individual colleagues during teaching. And uh, how to do a random calling, how to model the target for each and every students. And then how to use natural speed, as you can see, Dr. Yu, you, you did, she didn't slow down. And how to keep a natural pace in teaching. All of this can happen in 10 seconds, uh, but I can show this rather than just saying, you have to um, pay attention to students' pronunciation when you teach. So through this, it is easier to say the behind the scene of teaching. And uh, when teachers observe teaching, it's difficult to connect what they can say and why this happened. So this way, it's, it's more direct. And last but not least, we set up the WeChat channel to post um, weekly um, articles, which include reflections on teaching, recommendations, and the reviews of um, pedagogical materials. We share lesson plans, classroom activities, and uh, summarize of the pub recent publications, showing learning um, product and taking up the challenges in teaching, such as online teaching during pandemic as a community. So here's the square code of the channel. If you're interested, please scan and follow us on WeChat. Finally, I would like to end my presentation with Wang Yangming's um, saying, Zixing He Yi, it is, Unity of knowing and doing, which is the basic concept of PCA. Thank you very much.